Hunter. Mackie and Carrick Brace here again with a, another installment from um, beautiful uh, summer in Scotland. I'm here at the Pass of Killiecrankie. We're in 1689. It was one of the first Jacobite battles. It's a very famous battle with a um, quintessential Highland charge. The Mackay connection is a follow-on piece from my report from Crete. If you remember, I talked there about how a young uh, Hugh Mackay of Scurry was there at uh, the siege. Well, this is much later in his career, towards the end of his career in 1689, because he ends up being killed in battle a few years later. I should uh, make a correction. I carefully uh, looked up, I thought, the pronunciation of Scurry. Um, there are people on the internet, Scotsmen, who pronounce it that way. But I'm told by the president of our clan society that uh, it's pronounced Scowry. So it's Mackay of Scowry. So for this episode, I'll pronounce it that way. But this is the battlefield here. You can see um, a stretch of it here, but it actually wraps all the way around. It was quite a wide battlefield. The circumstances were that uh, Mackay of Scourie had been uh, in command of the government forces, had been pursuing uh, Bonnie Dundee and the clans for some time through the Highlands. They finally meet each other here. Mackay had come up through the pass and he'd been surprised by uh, the Highlanders, the Jacobite Highlanders, here on this slope. So he arrays his men and has them make a right turn to face the Highlanders here. This was all in order to gain control of Blair Castle, which is just beyond these low hills here, seen as the gateway to the Highlands. Mackay has his red coat regulars, and of course we have the clansmen arrayed above. This becomes as I said, the classic um, renowned Highland charge that Bonnie Prince Charlie, some 60 years later, hopes to replicate, but on ground not to the advantage of the Highlanders, whereas this is. We've got this long, massive slope leading down to the red coat lines. It was a couple of hours before sunset, but the two forces array uh, to meet each other, and Dundee up here holds his men until the sun dips just below the hills beyond there, because until that point, the sun was shining in their eyes. At that point, the command is given to charge downhill at the Redcoats. They had never experienced this kind of tribal warfare. They were accustomed, those who had battle experience, accustomed to fighting on the continent with uh, regularly formed regiments, with their firelocks, uh, exchanging volleys of fire. This was something very different. The Highlanders charge down. As they do so, they get near enough to discharge their own firearms and then discard them. They continue on down. They receive three volleys on their way down of fire. But despite that, uh, they are undaunted and hammer into the Redcoats here. The Redcoats at this time had bayonets that plugged into the muzzles, so they couldn't shoot and have bayonets. They had to give up shooting, screw in the bayonets, and then try to meet the Highland charge. All too late. The Highlanders smash into them. The Redcoats rout almost all of them. And then there is all but a massacre as the Highlanders are now pursuing the fleeing Redcoats with their basket-hilted broadswords. In some cases, this is one of the last battles where the famous two-handed claymores are still used. And so the slaughter ensues all the way down to the river here. Mackay of Scoury, he, despite his, um, one might argue, failed generalship here, he displays great personal courage in staying on the battlefield on horseback. There is a unit of red coats over on the government left uh, that holds and he rides to them to try to rally them and um, somehow save the battle. He of course doesn't succeed in that. His brother was in command, this is Lieutenant Colonel James Mackay, was in command 
of a regiment, Mackay's regiment, down over here. James Mackay is killed in this battle, along with uh, thousands of other redcoats. The Highlanders were outnumbered. It was a great victory for them, but a Pyrrhic victory because their leader, Bonnie Dundee, was killed by a musket shot that got in under his breastplate. So this is the famous battle of Killiecrankie of legend and song. That is the Mackay uh, role that was played here. General for the government forces. There were Mackays here fighting, many of whom lost their lives. That's the latest report from Killiecrankie.